May is Women's Health Month, and if there's one thing we've all learned this past year is we all need to kind of pry it prioritize our health. Yeah, in fact, a recent poll by the Kaiser Family Foundation found that more women, more than men, are postponing medical care amid the pandemic. And that's exactly what one mom did, even though she was in a lot of pain. Take a look. If you're looking for Morgan to bow, you can probably find her on an outdoor adventure with her family or teaching a fitness class. But last summer, this extremely active 38-year-old mom had such debilitating neck and back pain, she couldn't even drive a car. With the pandemic, my daughter was home with me full time. I was in the middle of transitioning my training business to an online model, juggling all of these things. And I just, uh, at the time, felt like I couldn't really step back from those responsibilities to explore what was going on. Ignoring her pain ended up backfiring. My daughter loves dance parties and she wanted to cheer me up. So she came over and she grabbed my hands to pull me off the couch. And as she pulled my hands forward, I just had this shooting pain down my, my arm and I just yelled, I can't. And it, it shocked her, it shocked me to hear my voice so loud and so aggressive. The very next day, Morgan finally went to the doctor. It wasn't just physically that she was hurting, she was struggling emotionally. What I saw in her was she started to lose hope that she could ever get back to her normal pain-free active life. Morgan and spine surgeon Dr. Colin Haynes decided that an artificial disc replacement surgery was the best option to get Morgan back to a pain-free active life. It, it, it's possible that by, by the time Morgan saw me, she was hurting so much that we really had such a high hill to climb. We weren't able to get her better through the less intensive means. So because she waited so long, we had to do a disc course. Fortunately, she did amazing. This is a situation Dr. Haynes sees far too often. I have a lot of patients who put everyone else's needs above their own. It took a major surgery, but Morgan has learned a major lesson. When I'm looking inward and taking care of myself, then I'm a much better person overall in my life. I feel confident, I feel capable, and just strong in who I am as a woman, as a mother, as a wife. And three months post-surgery, Morgan is ready to get back on the dance floor with her favorite dance partner. We just danced, she held my hands, we spun, I picked her up a little bit, and it was just so glorious. And she was saying, I'm so excited you're feeling better. 